Hey peeps, this is Nina here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cinemagraph. Now, if you don't know what a cinemagraph is, it's a picture and a video mashed into one awesome, amazing GIF. And it's not just any ordinary GIF, it's a very unique and very creative looking picture and I will show you guys a few on the screen and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a few of these around um, on uh, many websites nowadays and it's it's really cool and to be honest it's very very simple to make okay so first off the two programs we're going to be using in this video we're going to be using Vegas Sony Vegas and virtual dub Virtual Dub is absolutely free. It's an open source program that I I usually put out there for my audience to check out because it's just an amazing program. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that little video clip on Vegas and then export it and then put it into Virtual Dub to make our GIF. So there's that. Um, there's I believe there's another many more ways to make. Um, a cinemagraph like with Photoshop only but uh, I'm very comfortable with Vegas and that's what I started out using okay so we're gonna load up Vegas and then uh, we're gonna need a video clip of whatever it is that you wanna make okay so first off you wanna make sure that your video clip is very still it'll make your job a whole lot easier as you guys can see, I have a clip here that's very jolty, and it's it's basically a clip on the car, just a video camera pointing out the window, and it's very shaky and not the best thing to start out with. So I do recommend you guys choose or use a video clip with um, maybe something that you use a tripod recording. Um, I did not use a tripod with this, but I did leave it on the ground, and it was—it's a very still, um, a very still video actually. So it'll be really easy on on our part. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to search for a part where I want to make a cinemagraph out of, and this part is actually pretty cool. So um, I'll just split or delete whatever it is that I don't need. Um, to split, hit S on your keyboard. You should be set. And then, so, the clip I'm going to be using is this clip of birds flying by. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make everything else still in this video except for these birds that are flying. Okay, so there's that. I'm just going to remove the audio because we don't need the audio. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to color correct whatever it is that I want to do beforehand. Just make any edits to the video. So it will be easier on my part for later. So I have a, I just add this little effect here and it looks pretty good. So now that I've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to take a screenshot of the first frame of our GIF. So I want the birds all still like it is now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this top bar and hit best full um, now what this does is it enhances the preview quality on this playback window and it just makes sure that it's at its fullest best quality and the reason we're doing that is so when we take the picture or when we take the snapshot it doesn't turn out all crappy so we're going to hit this little uh, floppy disk button, save snapshot to file, and I'm going to go ahead and save that image. Uh, you should get a new file in your project media, and we're just going to leave it there. You're just going to drag it below your video clip, and now we're going to go back to preview auto. And the reason we're doing that is because uh, playback is pretty laggy when you're editing on Vegas because it requires a lot of RAM and my RAM is very limited so I want to make sure it uses what's best and what my RAM can handle. Okay we're just gonna hit the event pan crop icon right here and check mask. Uh, now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mask out our video file and what that means is we're just gonna select a portion of the video 
that um, we're going to show and the rest is going to be uh, the layer underneath which happens to be the picture that we took a screenshot of so now I'm gonna try to keep uh, everything as close as I can to the birds as you guys can see because the next bird flies in pretty close to this one so I'm gonna make sure to go as close as I can and then just mask this out. So as you guys can see there is like a brighter part and then a darker portion of the video and the darker portion means it's not going to be shown and it's basically deleted out of the video and the brighter part is what's going to be playing. Uh, so if we play this video you guys can see that you do see the birds flying in but these birds down here aren't moving at all that's because we masked them out and so if I move this bottom layer right here which happens to be the picture um, you can see that it's totally darkness so we're just basically cropping out that part of the video so once you're done and satisfied with your video go ahead and render it as an AVI file now one thing I do want to mention for those who are bit unfamiliar with Vegas is that make sure the loop region is from start of the video to the end and it's not like right here where it's cut halfway through the video clip so make sure you got that set so we're just gonna go to file render as and render it as an AVI file once we've got our video clip just click and drag it into virtual dub and go to file export animated gif now we're just gonna go ahead and hit infinite loop and name our file so I'm gonna name it cinemagraph.gif and hit OK once virtual dub is done exporting your gif go ahead and go into the virtual dub folder and find the gif okay so this is our final product and to be honest it turned out pretty well it was very fast and very simple and um, we did have a little problem with the masking over here but again we didn't pay too much attention with that when we were doing if you guys do put in some effort with this project um, you guys can come up with amazing stuff and uh, yeah just try it out and if you guys make some awesome um, cinema graphs go ahead and share it with me and just send me a link on Twitter my Twitter is gonna be below or just leave a comment or a video response or whatever it is so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in my next video if you guys want to see a certain type of video for me go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and I will try to make it so that's it for this video thanks for watching